Thanks, Allison. Well, it was between the hours of 3 and 6 yesterday afternoon that some 100 workers of the Nikki Beach Resort were told that their services were no longer needed. And it was also this afternoon that we captured footage of those same employees picking up their final paychecks from manager Jonathan Steers. <laughs> now, standing next to me is a commissioner for the Labor Department, Ms. Joan Sutton. Ms. Sutton, when did you find out about this closure and what is the Labor Department planning to do about it? Thank you. No, um, our department just found out early this morning a few staff members called. The management themselves have not contacted the Department of Labor. However, I understand from some employees there are about 89 employees working in, in, at the resort. 20, about 20 are belongings and the others are work on work permit. So it's our duty now to find out their rights and responsibility in all of this and also try to place the belongings who are not now in, uh, employed. And what are the legal ramifications of this? Because like you say, most employers were just notified of this uh, news just yesterday afternoon and others just this morning. What legal ramif ramifications does this have um, for the employee? Okay, from my understanding so far, it's um, the company, the resort is going into receivership. I don't have all the details as yet. However, I know the, co the resort have not been open two years. If an hour law, severance pay come in after two years. So I'll have to get all the facts and work it out and see which each of the staff get and find out if that is the amount that they're entitled to. Have you been contacted by any of the employees or the employers wanting to s sort of sit down with you? Employees so far. And in fact, I came here to meet, uh, meet with them and then I, I came, you know, met um, Channel 4 here. So that's what I'm on my way now to deal with. But in, as far as the employer or management, no, nothing at all. Okay, well, uh, what we were, we're, what we're getting is, uh, especially this morning, we talked to one of the employees or one of the former employees, and what she told us was she went to bed last night with a job, and now this morning she's unemployed. What are, what are some of the sentiments or some of the feelings that you're getting from these employees? There is like their hope gone. Where they had a, a sure job, there is nothing now. So, and as I said, for our part, um, the Labor Department part is to place belongings if we can in, in workplaces. The shutdown of the $100 million posh Leeward establishment was abrupt, sudden, and devastating to employees. News 4 was unable to ascertain full details of the closure, but what we do know is that some 100 employees were given the ax sometime after 5 p.m. yesterday in a closed-door meeting with Nikki Beach personnel. Today, the distraught employees were seen outside of the resort collecting what is speculated to be their final paychecks. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing because I come back and somebody tell me the hotel closed, no can go inside, everybody lose the job. I don't know why. After the manager talk to me, he tell me why. I no can tell nobody nothing, I'm sorry. The laid off employees say they are now jobless and the economic slump makes them even less attractive to employers. But well, nobody feels good about actually losing their job in this kind of way, you know. Where's the closure? Not it's not one person. It's like a whole the whole crew. It's like 80 or 90 or 150 families, you know. So it ain't just me. It's the whole the whole shebang. In a short press release from Nikki Beach officials, we were told, quote, on Thursday, September 10th at 2 p.m., Nikki Beach Resort Turks and Caicos was informed that Leeward Resort Limited, the underlying property owner, was in receivership and funding for the operation of the hotel was immediately seized. As a result, Nikki Beach Resort in Turks and Caicos Islands is now closed, end quote. General Manager of Nikki Beach Resort Turks and Caicos, Jonathan Steer, said in the same press release, quote, we are extremely surprised and saddened with this news. We are working tirelessly to ensure our talented and passionate staff acquires new employment and that our guest reservations are relocated smoothly. Nikki Beach is a firm believer that our employees are our most valuable asset and we are thoroughly proud of what the team in the Turks and Caicos has accomplished since our opening last year. End quote. Receivership is a form of bankruptcy in which a company can avoid liquidation or foreclosure by reorganizing with the help of a court-appointed trustee. In a September 2007 press release, Nikki Beach posted on their website, quote, Nikki Beach, in partnership with Leeward Resort Limited, has designed the Nikki Beach Resort and Spa Turks and Caicos as a majestic sanctuary in the Caribbean for international jet setters and yachters alike, end quote. The resort, which began operating in the residential area of Leeward in April of 2008, was situated on a 423-acre gated area. It also included a spa, a nightclub, and a marina. 
News 4 was unable to get confirmation on who the owners of Leeward Resort Limited is or what other properties may be affected. News 4 attempted to contact officials from Leeward Resort Limited. However, up to broadcast time, we were unsuccessful. Reliable sources tell News 4 that the offices for the company are not located on the island. We understand that corporate officials from Nikki Beach are fighting the current pronouncement. Leeward Resort Limited is no stranger to controversy as reports surfaced during the initial opening of Nikki Beach that dredging around the posh resort was being done not to deepen the channel for luxury yachts, but rather to establish a man-made island, ironically dubbed Star Island, to cater to the high-end celebrity market. These alleged plans never bore fruition during several protests by local Leeward residents and international environmentalists who condemned the project. News 4 will have more on this story as it develops.